I figured out I was going to start this conference with a hat. Not as smile as a hat, usually. But then that's a curved hat. That's a, that's a blah, 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 blah. Uh, it's really All the other guys don't understand a shit what I just said, but it's, it's fine. This song looks actually something funny about me. It's because Apple doesn't look back, they only look forward. It really isn't that much more expensive. Sure, you can go with Android if you like unintuitive, frustrating, illogical user interfaces, that's fine. You get what you pay for. Of course you can right click on a Mac. Gestures. Gestures. Apple can totally survive without Steve Jobs. Yeah, that would not happen if Steve was still alive. Gestures. Gestures. What do you think of the glasses? Just a second, I'm just downloading an app update real quick. Gestures. No viruses. No viruses. No viruses. No viruses. No viruses. No viruses. I thought they can't see the, that they don't have viruses anymore. I thought now there's some viruses. There was one Trojan horse. Nobody needs Flash. Neither of you have iPhones? Hmm. Best yeah. customer service ever. Nobody needs a Blu-ray drive. No, they love working 18-hour days. It's part of their culture. Technically, their suicide rate is lower than the national average. Nobody needs DVD drives. Apple should totally make iced coffee. I wish Apple made clothes. I wish Apple made barbecue sauce. I wish Apple made swimming pools. I wish Apple made condoms. Nobody needs to add RAM. Nobody needs that many retail employees. I, yeah, I think 4G's coming. 4G, no, 4G is coming in the next iPhone. Oh my god, I can't believe you're using the 4G argument against me. <laughs> Nobody needs removable batteries. So to right click on the Mac, you just either press the control key and click, or... Nobody needs a 17 inch laptop. Of course there's an app for that. You do two fingers and click on the trackpad, or you can set the trackpad to have your finger in the lower right hand corner be a right click. You can also reverse it with the lower left hand corner can right click. So nobody needs iWeb. It just works. Or you can buy a mouse that has extra buttons on it. So there's like, you know, there's like five or six, maybe 20 different ways you can right click on the Mac. You don't need to right click anyways. I wish Apple made bookstores. I wish, I wish Apple made glasses. Wouldn't it be great if Apple just made everything in the world? Hmm, what would an Apple city be like? Apple can totally survive with Tim Cook, as long as he keeps hiring great people like John Browett. Just stick with iTools, Apple's gonna fix it. Just stick with .Mac, Apple's gonna fix it. Just stick with MobileMe, Apple's gonna fix it. Just stick with iCloud, Apple's gonna fix it. Just switch to Google, that'll fix it. Nobody needs iDVD. I love Apple. You don't have an iPhone? Nobody needs red camera support. I love Apple. I love Apple. Steve Jobs. 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 I love Apple. I hate, 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 hate Apple. So I don't know if you, any of you have seen that on the internet, but I thought it was pretty funny, it was a pretty good way to start a conference about uh, basically about a bunch of other nerds. Uh, so welcome to Cologne. For those who don't know that, uh, this is the official emblem, uh, I mean, tag of Cologne or whatever, and there is a reason why. Everything we do is in, in red and white, but more importantly, welcome to Objective Cologne. So before that I uh, introduce Mike, I just wanted to um, add a few organizational things. The number one thing being, obviously, the Wi-Fi, which is currently still being kind of set Right, that's the next conference. Um, so basically what you're going to use is you're going to use um, anything that says um, iPhone, Mac, or iPad. If you don't see any iPhone or iPad right now, it's normal. You will see only Mac right now. And you just use the OBJ CGM12. Uh, if you have any problems, um, just come see me. Uh, oh yeah, and the one thing 
maybe which is actually probably smarter is if any of you by any means lives in Germany and has a 3G connection that you can use, maybe it's even faster. So um, I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll pray for the, for the, for the Wi-Fi and anything, so I hope it's going to work. It's not the best way to start a conference, by the way. Um, all right. Um, and the one thing is uh, um, wear it, drink it, stick it, write it. Um, you've got a lot of swag, so uh, I hope you can promote us for the next years. And I hope, I hope you like the conference enough to tell to your colleagues, hey, that was cool. And I hope next year we will be, uh, uh, we'll have another row on top of or something like that. And uh, yeah, the common joke would be that I would need to uh, rent current Mesa. But uh, yeah, it's just a dream. A dream. Uh, so the next thing, speaking about uh, Wi Fi, there is an app for that, right? Apparently, some people just discovered it yesterday, right here. Um, just the Yeah, don't download it now. Uh, <laughs> so, you guys have all downloaded the Objective Colony app, if not downloaded it, uh, it's for free on the App Store. Um, use it instead of the website for a simple reason, is that the app likes way better pinging than the internet would like, uh, because it also works offline. And the app basically has the schedule and infos about the speakers, and the cool thing is about the app is you can tweet uh, with, within the app with uh, the Twitter handle of the speaker. So like, when Mike is going to start, if you want to say something about this, is, uh, is uh, uh, the soul that you just hit on uh, in the app uh, on the, the, the bird, and then it's pretty filled with and by the way, uh, on the previous slide, it said that the official tag is as well OBJ CGN. If you put anything on Flickr, uh, Twitter, or, or even better, uh, app.net, uh, app.net for the web. Uh, so here's basically here's the app. There is an, an iOS app and a, a, an iPhone app and an iPad app, which came very very fast. The next thing is a bit of organization organizational thing. This is the room here. What you see on the top, basically where I am is where I am. And the next question is, uh, where are the loops? Where are the toilets? Well, turns out we have to go all the way up and then all the way down. I know it's kind of weird. So, if if I put it in another way, the toilets are beneath your feet. That's where they are under. So you go all the way up, all the way down. So, and I figured out when I was visiting the place in the toilets a couple of a couple of years ago. Yeah, right. A couple of days ago that it uh, was written in German, obviously, so some of you will need to learn some German. There are two ways of learning which side is the right side for you. The first way is learning the word, uh, which would be Dame, and Heaven, for the guys. The second way is looking at the number of people waiting. <laughs> That's mostly, probably, going to be the cue on women's side. And that's mostly probably going to be the cue on the guy's side. Yeah, I know. In every single IT conference, I wish I was a woman. Um, so, <laughs> that's for the organizational part. But, you know what? I discovered something. There is some secret toilet. It's hidden over there. There's one single toilet. So, uh, yeah. Well, it's the secret place to reach. And by the way, uh, the way, the reason I'm showing that is also organizational thinking, speaking of, uh, as you've seen, uh, where you had uh, the, the breakfast and the coffee and everything, this is where uh, later at the moment you will have uh, the food, so uh, all the food would be there and you will help yourself, so on the left. And um, the other very important part is, at the end of each session, uh, depending on how much time you get, so it's 45 minutes, and I have to look that I am good on time, yeah, for... Um, Mike starting. Uh, we will try to uh, have a few questions, but if we run out of time, we will still have the option of um, allowing people to ask the question in a very special way. The special way is this little corner that you saw, where you can point everybody, where everybody can see. Uh, so, and, and the reason I put Mike there is that I'm going to ask every single speaker, which by the way I didn't tell them before, so now they are hearing it at the same time as you, to just move over there right when they're finished with their tool, and you guys follow them, like on Twitter, right? It's for you. Um, um, and, well, if you have any question for well, those guys on this specific topic, you go there with them, you sit around over there and take a drink and ask the specific questions. And if you, if you feel like staying there after the, the, the 15 minutes break, just please do so, stay there if you want to skip the next session. Um, try not to come in the middle of a session um, after, because it's kind of, kind of disturbing. 
If it's at the beginning of the section, okay. But, um, all right. Last bit of information, prayer information. Tonight at 6 we drink, at 7 we eat. So I hope everybody is still going to be able to eat at 7. Because I know some people with an hour drinking, probably not. Um, so um, it, this is where it is. It's actually very near from here, so you have the, 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 um, the exact uh, street on the, on, the, on the website and everything. It's like 600 meters away from here. Um, so it's finished here at 5, between 5 and 6. Some of you can go back to the hotel. If you guys arrive at 7, it's fine. There will be some, still some drink. Try to arrive at 7 because at, at 7, um, dinner will be served and it will be really served uh, tonight. Um, like everybody will have somebody bringing um, uh, a plate. So, um, yeah, um, tomorrow, uh, please also come around the same time. Uh, actually, it wasn't a problem to, to, uh, this morning, it was the other way around. Some people were so early that uh, some things were not ready, but it's fine. But it this way around and the other way around. Come tomorrow at 9 a.m. because, uh, uh, yeah, we have some stuff to do. Uh, we have stuff to do before Drew starts the first one, just like today. And more importantly, tomorrow evening, uh, there are two things happening. The first thing that I was planning since a couple of weeks, which is for those staying in town, we can still have dinner together. Um, uh, there uh, should be a, a list at the front desk. There isn't because I just forgot. I realized that. So I will uh, go at the front desk and prepare some kind of list. And if you guys want to join us tomorrow, it's a it's a nice place I found called Marisol. It's a Spanish restaurant in the middle of Cologne. It's obviously uh, not in, uh, in the present conference, so anybody staying will pay for himself. And there is something else tomorrow, right? Apparently, Apple waited for them to come up. Thank you, Apple. Um, um, which, 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 on the way, it, it's kind of disturbing that we are still not able to speak about all those nice things that are happening tomorrow. But on the other hand, just like Mike was putting it to, uh, yesterday, if it would have happened yesterday, all of their slides would be obsolete. So maybe it's better. Uh, so and oh, and very important over there at the Marisol, there is Wi-Fi and there will be the, there will be some kind of email. There will be a email, but there is no stream or whatever. But uh, yeah, it's going to be kind of nerdy. Uh, and by the way, that's the chef that will uh, that is waiting for us uh, this evening. All right, so we're gonna start now. Before every single guy, I'm gonna jump for like a minute or something and introduce the guy and explain you why they are here and how could I uh, know that. Um, so the first thing about Mike's keynote is that it could be called the keynote, right? But since it's Mike Lee, apparently in Amsterdam they started something. They started calling it. A Lee note. <laughs> and it's because of his twin brother, because if you don't know that story, Mike has a twin brother who doesn't really look like him. Um, another Lee, Graham Lee. Um, Alright, but it's only it's not only Mike. It's Mike with his Steve. Right. So you guys remember all they used to call the keynotes by Steve? They used to call them the Steve notes. So this is the keynote, which is a Lee note. But also a C note. So actually, you know what? Maybe it's a B note. But wait, don't leave. <laughs> don't leave. It's not with an A. Um, so yeah, a lot of us are here because of this fruit, uh, which isn't protected by any trademarks. Um, and because of this guy, um, which in some ways um, is some kind of, of, of spiritual fetter. Hello, Mr. Jason Harris. Some kind of spiritual fetter for uh, some of us. Um, and then there is this guy, which is apparently on Twitter and everything known as BMF. So, but I can tell you, is anything but a BMF. Actually, um, I'm proud we met a couple of years ago at NS Conference. I will uh, speak about uh, NS Conference tomorrow morning a little bit. And uh, actually, I'm super happy that um, over the years, Mike had, uh, I had the pleasure of, of Mike uh, becoming my friend. That's what BMF stands for. Right. So, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Lee. We're going to set him up and we're going to change now. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'll spare you trying to speak German. 
Goedemorgen you know, for any of um, Aaron in the audience. That's, that's, that's the closest I get to German is Dutch. Um, I'm going to start this presentation backwards. I'm going to answer your questions so that you're not thinking about them, because I already know what you, what you want to ask me. Uh, first of all, you want to ask me if I've ever worked directly with Steve Jobs or, or, or met the dude. Uh, no, 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 I worked for Steve Jobs. Uh, you know, I've been this close to Steve Jobs. Uh, I've emailed back and forth with Steve Jobs about all kinds of crazy crap. Uh, I never worked with him directly. My protégés got to, uh, I didn't. Um, I never introduced myself to him because uh, it wasn't that I was afraid of him per se, it was that I didn't know what to say to him. You know, it was like a Zen koan, you know, what do you say when you meet the Buddha? Like, I don't know. Uh, I think the answer is nothing. You, know, you don't really say anything, you just shut up and listen. But I didn't know that, and then he died. So when he retired, I would have been blogging to me about uh, how depressing it was that I, I didn't get to meet him. Um,